Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tiabu, and I am here for Rising of the Shield Hero episode. Oh god, what are we on now? Is it 19 or 20? It's 20. 19 was last week, of course. Um, hmm. Shield Hero episode 20 aired not that long ago. Uh, last time on Shield Hero, not that much really happened. I mean, some stuff happened, but but not that much really happened. I think the the biggest thing that happened in the last episode was. Uh, Everybody kind of teamed up, at least temporarily. So we had we had Buckler Boy, Longsword, Last Bird, Babe, and Sovereign Sister sort of head into this place, and they met Spear Boy, or wait, no, uh, I had this written down. Uh, Javelin Jerk, that's the one, Longbow Lad, Kirito, uh, and the Vile Vixen. Uh, and they kind of fought amongst themselves until Pontiff Prick arrived, and... Once, once, once Pontiff Prick arrived and cast some big ol' area of effect spells, everybody was like, wow, we, we should probably not be fighting each other and should deal with this. And that was the last episode. Mostly. Okay, there were some other things. Pontiff Prick cast this big thing that trapped them in this place. I, I, I don't know. Um, kind of seems to have entrapped him with them. I'm not sure what the point of this spell is. That's okay. I'm sure we'll find out. But anyway, everybody is kind of on the same team now. Sort of. Uh, there was one, one comment that sort of made me think about this, about last episode. It was somebody who, who wrote, um, this is a filler episode in disguise. And at first, my first response to that was like, damn, nailed it, got it. That's accurate. And then as I thought about it, uh, I, I kind of kind of realized that's not entirely true. And while I understand that if, if you're coming to not really enjoy this show because of... Mm, there, are, there are a lot of issues. Mostly pacing. Um, if you've come to not enjoy this show because of that, then yeah, it, it could totally make sense to just be like, this is a filler episode. Not much happened. I think that it's better and worse than that. I think that the intent of the last episode was to to build up a, a dramatic moment where Naofumi and, and Motoyasu can kind of see eye to eye for the first time. And, and, like, it's a difficult thing for one character in your story to convince another character that everything they've been doing for the entire scope of the story has been flawed. Like, one of their underlying assumptions is just so wrong that everything that they've been doing is wrong. And Motoyasu has a whole heap of those underlying assumptions, like, I'm a good guy, uh, the crown is right, uh, this is kind of a game world, lots of things. So, I think that the attempt to make some kind of, like, big character moment occur there, I think that's there. I just don't think it succeeded very well. And I think that that maybe this comes down to just, like, adaptation woes. Like, maybe this th these scenes had more impact and these conversations between the two of them had more impact in the manga just because of the flow, just because of the way it's it's paced and where it's set in in the conversations. And the other thing is that, like, one of, one of my big problems with the last episode was that the characters are just standing around discussing stuff while mm, Pontiff Prick, while Pontiff Prick just sits there and, like, doesn't do anything. And then they, they sort of hand wave that at the end by having him be like, we've recovered some magical energy, so now we can cast more spells. But that's not really necessary, right? Um... So it, it's it's more like an excuse after the fact than it is a planned thing. Uh, yeah. But in, in, in a manga, you don't really get that sense because character dialogue that occurs in between actions is instant, right? It's, it's kind of like... Um, like talking is a free action, and, and we make that joke in JoJo's pretty frequently. Uh, everything stops while characters are discussing or thinking over their plans, which is fine in a manga. But once you animate it and it's actually, like, glued to a time, 
like how do I put this? Manga manga is out of time, right? You not only control your own pace, but the 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 occurrence of events you're not sure how much time goes between each panel or each page or anything, right? So having characters have a discussion doesn't really feel out of place, even if in the back of your mind you're like, yeah, there's a bad guy waiting to attack them. Why is he waiting? It doesn't really matter because you just skim through that and all of that all of that time is to collapse down into that conversation happened and then you move on to the next thing. Whereas in an anime... Each scene, each phrase is locked to the timeline of the show, right? The, 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 the second mark, right? It's, it's locked down. And so you instantly get the feeling like this is supposed to be a coherent flow of consistent time. And that's not necessarily the case because the source material, which still has to be covered by the anime, isn't. This is one of the big problems with adapting anime in general. It's just hard. Uh, so... I just wanted to mention that because I had an interesting set of thoughts about that comment that this was a filler episode in that I was like, yeah. And then I was like, well, not really. This is not really a filler episode. It's just not a great episode. IMO. In any case, that's, that's neither here nor there, really. Everybody's here. They're all fighting the pontiff. Pontiff casts some big old spells and is probably going to continue to do that. Um... Also, he's got a weapon, which is all of the weapons, which is kind of OP, but it's not the shield, I assume. I assume. Just because, like, okay, if the Three Heroes Church, the Three Heroes Church, was gonna make a weapon that embodied all of the characteristics of all of the other weapons, they'd probably be like, yeah, all of the other weapons except the shield, because fuck that shit, we hate it for reasons. Uh, <laughs> so, it's probably spear, bow, and sword. And that'll probably play into how it's defeated because it doesn't have the power of the shield and the shield is probably pretty powerful, <laughs> especially against three attacking weapons. It's, it's pretty good. Armor is nice. <laughs> Shields are nice. But, um, yeah. So we're still in the midst of this battle and the only thing that's changed is that our heroes are no, no longer completely at each other's throats, but... Uh, sort of on the same side because survival. Okay. Uh, the other thing that's going on is that the queen and her shadow people are on the way. And that's good. Like, thank God. We were teased shadow people a long time ago and, uh, teased the queen a long time ago and she has had almost no impact. So I would love her to to walk in here and find out what's going on in her queendom, her matriarchy, her the the place. Melromark. What's going on there and not like it. I would love that. That would be great. I would love to see her come in and just be like Oh husband dear, the fuck? <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> oh mine, my daughter. The fuck? What have you been doing? I think that would be great. Um, get another character outside of our main crew who who actually gets what's going on and is not horrifying and evil. One can hope. Anyway, I'm blathering. It's early in the morning. I haven't had enough tea yet. Actually, that's my first sip of tea. I haven't had any tea this morning, so I like just rolled out of bed and got ready to go. Um blathering uh let me stop that let's watch the episode yeah yeah okay i've got i've got episode 20 up it's a zero seconds there will be multiple versions this reaction video as usual picture in picture version with the video up there will be in the description down there timer based version is on youtube and that's what you're watching right now it'll have discussion at the end and a beep beep timer at the beginning if you want to sync up with your own version of shield hero cool and uh yeah that timer will go right here I think I covered everything, and then some. Okay. Oh look, a CG army. Oh, is that the queen? Oh, damn.
This is what I wanted. I don't think you're very old. Unless there's something aging-wise going on. And boob armor. God damn it. Go to Shadowversity. Watch the video on boob armor. You know. Also, no uh, OP. Credits over stuff happening. Who? Is that the Pope? I missed something. My bad. Yes, wave your spears in the air, CG army. I just knew. Battle of good and evil. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Hi, buddy. This is the good side, obviously. Are we just gonna... Okay. Right. Hi, Kirito. The healing the cathedral or him? Is that a kind of a combo attack? I don't know what that was. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's kind of OP. He doesn't care, does he? Nah. Definitely the side of good. Yeah. Give your lives for righteousness. Oh, legit though. <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy. Bad guys do bad things because they're bad. Why are they bad? Because they're bad. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Ja. Have you not been feeding your weapons? Like a million. What? 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 I wouldn't count on it. It's the kind of thing people say before it doesn't, like, work that way. All right. Let's get a cursey. What? Guts? Guts. So he has to overcome his own anger. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, in exchange for, you know, your mortal soul. Is that what you want? Okay, and he's on fire. That's pretty dope. Eh, for now. Wow, he can't even see around him. Ah, she can't get in. And it doesn't work this time. Hmm. Hmm.
There are nice things sometimes. The world isn't all horrible. Cool song. Can you do that? Oh, she's cursing herself. Are they all? Oh, shit. Where are you going to get holy water if you kill the church? <laughs> okay. Wasn't there, like, a time limit thing? If the light reaches the top of the thing, everything gets bad? A little bit of humility. <laughs> oh, well, it happened. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> okay. Pew! Ah, that's why there's no OP. So they could bring it in at the critical moment. Okay. I can dig that. Got him. <laughs> Pop. Ooh, got him. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like it. <laughs> oh. 
Unfortunately, I really don't like the way the OP is mixed in here. There we go. That's better. Ha. Makes sense. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. The real arrow. His HUD is glitching. Why? Is that because of the curse shield or damage? Oh, hi! Queen X Machina. <laughs> All right. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, he's really glitching. What is that? That sounds like something a hero would say. Huh? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. We'll see. That's a lot of blood. Ha. 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 Oh. Confetti! Cathedral go bye-bye? Yay! It's 
still, that was, that was a lot of blood. Is now for me alright? Hi, Queen. Hmm. That was a lot of blood. Yeah, give us some high-level queen healing magic. Let's go. I cast Revivify. Name? Okay. That was an abrupt ending. Okay. <sighs> Meh. And next episode will be Naofumi's Triumphant Return. Does that mean he's going to get some respect? Not sure how I feel about that. I guess it's a payoff. Okay. So, this episode. Let's start with the things I liked about this episode. Because there were a few. Um, although, overall... Meh. Uh, like, meh plus one. Not bad. Don't hate it. But I don't love it either. Let's start with the things I liked. Uh, the first thing that I liked was that, and it came in the midst of something I didn't really like, that while we sort of, like, redid the same thing where he's being taken over by the shield and the cursy thing and, and, and rage and flames and his his harem saves him. Um, so we did the same thing, right? What I liked about that sequence was the little little reversal here. It's not the shield's rage. It's not the dragon's rage. It's your rage now, Fumi. There's no distancing the character from this effect, uh, which I think is good. I think I think that's good. Like, if there's a a premise typey thing to this show, or like a a a running thread that ties it all together, it's that Naofumi is angry because he's been mistreated, right? So, that's good. We make that an actual in-universe mechanic, right? Cool. But then the resolution to it is, like, <sighs> I'm torn. 
Because on the one hand, it's still the same your girlfriend saved you type of thing. But on the other hand, it also, like, as a... I keep coming up, like, words pop into my head and they're wrong. Like, meta or meta commentary, which is wrong, which is not what it is. But it's, it's like, the show is directly addressing its themes. And in this case, the theme is something along the lines of, yeah, shit's rough, but there are still nice things, so giving yourself into your rage and just being a dick to everybody probably isn't the best course of action. Okay. I like that. Things I didn't really like very much. Uh... A lot. So, I still have the same issue with the combat. I don't feel anything during the combat. It's like, what's going to happen? Oh, that happened. I don't care about any of these spells. I don't, I don't care about, about, like, Longbow Lad using his Thunder Shuto for, like, the 30th time. I don't care. It doesn't do anything. It never does anything. Meh. That's kind of sad. There's, like, there were a couple of scenes in here that were well animated? I, how do I put this? There were some scenes in the midst of the combat that had some flair to them. A little bit of not quite Sakaka, but they were, right? Like, some, some well-keyframed action. But there wasn't any, like, driving choreography or attempt at, at making the fighting interesting. And so it wasn't super interesting, at least to me. Uh, the blood sacrifice spell thing, technique, that Naofumi does. I don't get how that plays into the Chris Shield Rage stuff. Now, maybe, maybe, maybe we get some info on that later. But I don't get how it fits. And maybe this is just like neither here nor there and a stupid gripe. But... It seems really easy to tie it in. Yeah, it seems really easy to tie it in. So so our conflict within Naofumi at this point is like the dragon in the shield wants to take over and wants Naofumi. It, it, it basically, Palpatine, do it, right? Uh, it's like, yeah, yes, yes. Let your rage, you know. And to resist that means to sacrifice something. You don't get catharsis. You don't, you don't get vengeance. You don't get any of that, right? You, you don't get to fulfill your animalistic desire to hurt and kill whatever hurt you. That's a sacrifice. It hurts to not give in to that kind of pain. And so you could tie that in with the blood thing, right? If you want to use this shield... Without sacrificing yourself, you have to sacrifice something physical. Or without sacrificing your soul or mentality or whatever. You have to sacrifice something physical, like your blood. That could work. There's nothing nothing there. Instead, he just uses the thing, and then there's a moment of utter confusion as he bursts blood everywhere, and then falls over, and then a giant sort of dragon chain CG thing comes and Chops the Pope. I will say, I really liked the, the, the really short frame. It's a really, really short cut in here where the Pope is getting smushed. And we see his face get smushed. And I like it. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, we see the, the, the false weapon break. Can't hold up to a real one. Then we get the crunch, munch, blood spray everywhere. This is satisfying. And then that, 
that's really satisfying. Like, also kind of kind of edgy, right? Like, these giant teeth are literally piercing this dude's face on screen, and we get to see it. I'm a fan of that. I like some brutality when when villains die. I like it. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. Okay. Also, this is this is this is just the armor from Berserk, right? Right. Curse shield. Dragon Slayer armor. It's called Dragon Slayer armor, right? Basically the same thing. Just saying. Alright, I don't have too much to say about this episode. It was pretty mediocre. Now that that doesn't mean that I hated it. Gotta be gotta be clear about these things. I think it was pretty mediocre. That means like out of five. That's not awful. Production was still pretty good. Some of the music was still pretty good. Ooh, music, right? So so we didn't get an OP in this episode, and I think that's partially because they wanted to all that time, but also so that they could bring back a reprise of it during the the final conflict, right? The, the final part portion of the battle. Uh, and at first I was like, oh shit, that's hype. And then I forgot that there was a rap portion of the OP. So here's the, here's the problem. Big chunk of the portion where they're using the OP as backing music for the fight, it's, it's that rap portion and it's mingled with dialogue and people shouting and like sound effects and stuff. And so it just becomes a kind of a garbled mess uh, for that portion of the OP. And then it gets into the, like, the hypey part, the hyphy parts of the OP, and then it sounds pretty good as a bit of soundtrack music. But I didn't like the way that that part was mixed. Honestly, I think that they should have just cut it out and used only the, the more instrumental portions of the OP or the, the choruses. I think that would have probably served their purposes better, but it's kind of a minor gripe. Um, but considering how how much work the soundtrack has been doing for this show in terms of keeping it interesting and and uh, accenting emotional moments, I think that was maybe ill-advised to use the rappy portion of the OP just because it became pretty, pretty garbly. Um, let's, let's go and see. Actually, you know what? If I if I play that, it's there's a good chance it'll get copyright claimed. It'll just get content ID. Rip. So I'm not going to, but you can you can go and and see for yourself if if you feel the same way. All in all, meh. Meh episode of Shield Hero, guys. That's my thought. What are yours? I'd like to read them. If you want to share them in the comments, that would be cool. If not, that's cool too. In any case, I'm going to wrap it up. I've been Tiaboo. This has been Shield Hero episode 20. I hope you enjoyed it as much or more. If you got more out of it than I did or you thought this episode was a lot of fun, that's cool and I'm not going to try to shit on your opinion. Um, if you could explain what you liked about it, that would be really helpful to me because then I can will understand other points of view and that's always good anyway yeah i i hope you enjoyed this and i hope to catch you next week in the next one i'm not going to stop watching shield hero we're so close to the end I, i'm i'm just gonna finish it and hope that there is some kind of somewhat more satisfying climax here probably glass uh the the the, the next wave with glass will probably be the next thing i don't know if they're attempting to end on uh a story climax or a cliffhanger either would be 
like normal, right? Because the show's not going to capture all the manga and the manga is ongoing, right? Or, uh, the Ellen's? Is it web novel, light novel, manga? There's so many sources for, for this show. It's weird. But I, I, I assume that they're ongoing and much, much further than, than we're going to get to. So the anime is functionally like it's its own thing, but it's also kind of an advertisement for the source materials. So ending on a cliffhanger would be fine too. Though I'd prefer a, a nice climax. Who doesn't? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'll see you next week in the next one. Yeah? Yeah. Peace.